Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so keep up the good work, keep up this momentum, keep investing into you. Brilliant. Okay, so let's ask the question now, what is missing from the current solution? I've alluded to this before, guys, but I, I, I'm going to say it again because it's so, so important. Under no circumstances, and I mean no circumstances, must you ever badmouth your competitor, right? So when you're talking about what's missing from the current solution, you need to talk about the state. You need to talk about you are currently experiencing these challenges. You are currently in this non-optimized or undesirable state. So talk to the state, not to the competitor's product. They can make the connection to your competitor's product if they want to, but you must never mention or allude to your competitors in any way. It's just bad practice. Okay, cool. So first of all, you want to know what their current solution is. So you want to know, so you, you're going to, here's, here's where it gets a little bit challenging, right? You need to be able to do research. You need to understand in similar industries. So this is where your experience as a sales professional really needs to come to the fore. So you've got to know in similar industries who use similar products, who use similar services, those are the type of challenges. You've got to know what your differential advantages are. In other words, what do you, your organization, your products and services, what do they do better than your competitors? Because once you know what you can do better, faster, smoother, more cost effectively, what adds efficiency or effectiveness, reduces the cost of electricity, reduces the amount of time that a customer or how often a customer might need to service their product. So what are those differential advantages? Maybe you've got in a fantastic stock holding, um, which means that your customers don't need to hold stock. You do it on their behalf. So you reduce their cost of holding stock. You know, their, cost, their, their stock holding cost reduces. So their fixed costs reduce. So think really laterally. Think around what is it that you your organization, and, and I mean, no, I didn't just say your organization, right? The whole package, your value proposition is a combination of you and the incredible service and incredible engagement that you offer to your customers. Then, of course, there's the brand. There's your organization and the brand behind your organization, which comes with all sorts of perceived promises that the product will do what it says it's going to do and that you'll be there in the long run. There's also the quality of your products. There's the services. There's the backup of your organization. So understand, look at your organization from every perspective. Can I remind you about your monthly SWOT analysis, right? Your monthly SWOT analysis prepares you to keep looking outwardly, looking within your organization, identifying what makes our organization the better choice. So why choose us over our competitors? What's our differential advantage? And how can we bring that in? So understand what their current challenges are. And a little trick that works really well is when you know what your unique selling proposition is, you know what your differential advantage is. In other words, what makes you better than your competitors? Well, wherever you're better than your competitors, that's the place that you should be knocking on the door looking for cross, cross and upselling opportunities at existing customers and those are the customers who possibly are experiencing those type of challenges where you have a huge advantage, differential advantage, those are the customers you could also identify as perfect prospects, right? You also want to know, you want to speak to how your solution will make things better. So, remember I spoke to you, you've got to have a differential advantage. If you're just going to be going in, and let's say for example, they're currently using a red widget, and yours is a green widget, and you're going to come in, and the only difference is your widget is the same price, or maybe slightly more expensive. Your customer's going to stay with what they've got. But if you can come in and you can show a benefit, you can show how your solution is better. And how do you know your solution is better? Well, you started by looking at what are my, my, organ my, my organization, my products and my services, what is our differential advantage? We know, it, we, we, we know that we do it better. So wherever we can find those products, those organizations, those type of plants, those type of gearboxes, 
those sales organizations in the case of my business or whatever your industry is, once you identify your differential advantage and you can speak to or find places where that differential advantage is an advantage because your competitors are there, it gives you a golden opportunity to prove that you can do things better, faster, smoother, more cost effectively, etc. Right? Next, you want to know how your solution will make things better because that's what your customers buy. Remember, they are in an undesirable state or they might be in a, it's not a terrible state, but it's, it could be better. The transformation that you're going to offer is how you're going to make things better and you're going to speak to the optimized state that they're going to be in afterwards. And most importantly, guys, a picture paints a thousand words. So always make sure that you are able to show, to demonstrate it, either with case studies or white papers or recorded testimonials, or you can actually run a trial. You can say, we are so confident that our product will do what we say it's going to do that, and, and remember what I said to you previously, the moment you can remove risk or you take all the risk, your customer will buy with confidence. So if you're really struggling to get in at a customer, you could even say, we'll cover the cost, but once we prove, we run the trial, once we prove that it works, uh, we'll, we'll either you know, absorb the cost, or alternatively, only when we prove it works, only then do you pay for it. And then you've closed the customer, you've now got a new customer, and that's where you can really start to grow your business. So think seriously. When you're talking about identifying what's missing from their current solution, start off by saying, what is our differential advantage? So what do we do better? Once we know what's better, those are the places that we look. Those are the places that we approach for new business. We then show how our solution is better. We then prove how our solution is better. And we even run a trial to absolutely demonstrate how our solution is a better option. Never, however, badmouth your competitors.